Drie dagen verloop sê dat die Japanse vistreiler die Ayatsu Maru saterdag ochend vroeg bij Clifton op die strand geloop het. Die eerste poging saterdag aand van die smit Amandla sleeboot om die gestrande skip na dieper water te sleep, het misluk toe die sleeptou gebreek het. Sondag aand het ongunstige weerstoestande die bergingsoperatie in sy spore gestuid. Ons het met bezorgde inwoners van Clifton gepraat en kaptein Dave Colley, streeksbestuurder van die Suid-Afrikaanse maritieme veiligheidsoverheid, gevra hoe die bergingsoperatie vorder. Our concern of course is that there's a lot of stuff on board, there's a lot of fish on board and the fuel from the ship. The, the concern is if they don't get her off here and she stays here, there may be an environmental issue. Dit is een baie sensitieve area, as deel van een natuurreservaat hier en um, as die olie gaan, gaan lek, dan is dit groot gewaas. Always try to look after our beaches and then we wake up one morning and there's this big fishing vessel perched right on our, on our, on our beach. So hopefully they'll be able to get this boat out. You said earlier that you're only uh, hoping for 12 o'clock tomorrow to pull it out, but what, what is the process from now till tomorrow? What is happening at the moment? Well, at the moment we've uh, put a new team of salvers to, help, to assist the original team of salvers uh, employed by the owner because we don't feel that the owner is able to appreciate the gravity of the situation uh, or, the, or the scale of the problem. And so SAMHSA has intervened on behalf of the government uh, to, to, to assist the salvers to get it done. And uh, even in its worst case scenario, it means that the state will have to pay. So what are the technicians doing on, on the ship at the moment? Well, on Saturday we rushed out there and tried to pull it off and it probably still was the right thing to do. But uh, because it's difficult to get access to the ship, uh, people have to swim out to the ship. There's a limit to what can be done on board to prepare the ship for towing. And uh, we might have one of the world's strongest tugs pulling it, but if you don't have a good secure uh, point uh, or place to pull from, uh, it just rips apart. And so that's the main thrust today, to actually um, prepare a uh, place uh, or a methodology of attaching the tug to the ship that's not going to part and not going to pull the ship apart. The cost involved in this, is there any... Well, at the moment, uh, it changes from uh, minute to minute, day to day, but I can assure you when you hiring experts, salvos like Smith and like other private individuals who specialize in this and start flying helicopters, uh, I can assure you that it mounts very quickly. I wouldn't like to put a name on it, but then what price does one put on Clifton Beach? So.